Hello Technology Lovers, the summer is here, we got a cool down, we have a Wi-Fi air conditioner from Samsung A++ with 8 core digital inverter. Because I didn't find very intelligible video clips on uh, YouTube, so uh, we're gonna do a tutorial and gonna show you how to connect this uh, Wi-Fi Samsung uh, air conditioner to do your local Wi-Fi router and, and set it up. Uh, to see the application, do what kinds of stuff with it. First, download in your phone the smart home application. The smart home application will help you. Do not download the Samsung air conditioner because this application has all inside. Let's configure it, let's turn on the air conditioner and uh, let's set it up. So now guys, here is the application. Let's add a device and uh, a location must be turned on. So now guys, add your device, turn on your location and connect to your local router. Um, the air conditioner will be displayed here, right away. It's recognizing my device and um, now you got to turn on your air conditioner and hold the timer, I don't know, 4 seconds until AP access point is displayed. So now the access point is displayed in the remote control and in the unit. So now it's connecting on the server, it's adding the device. Uh, I got to tell you in the Oreo Android, I uh, had problems uh, with the S8 connecting to the air conditioner. So I used the Note 4 first. I put the password to the router and it immediately uh, recognized my uh, my router with the note with the sorry the S8 uh, I put the password and it didn't recognize the router it didn't um, uh, connect so you can connect a lot of devices I connect for example my and uh, my phone and my wife's phone and uh, it connects to the server one uh, server for the, from uh, the Samsung and there you can see what temperature are in your house um, if the air conditioner is turned on if it's uh, you want to turn it on and it's off and how many degrees you can uh, give to the air conditioner to uh, cool down your or warm up your house see it has some uh, some box let's uh, let's try again searching for the AP and you got to give the password and so now I put my password again to my router and uh, it connects, it tries to connect uh, the air conditioner to the Wi-Fi router. So I was saying you can even use it in uh, winter at minus 40 degrees. It has all kinds of protections for the lightning from the power socket short uh, circuits on um, all kinds of failures and if uh, the power is failure when it restarts the power it will automatically resume the air conditioner let's kick it down let's see the unit searching by router okay one member it um, tells me one more member it's using the air conditioner I can the air conditioner is turned on I can turn it off not only using the local router but I can use the mobile data let's see with the mobile data from the server I can do all kinds of stuff and now I can do let's okay it's connected it's on cool because the remote control give the command to cool the the room in 24 degrees and I can rise the temperature lower for example 23 we have 23 on the house now I said 24 I think now it will start the cooling agent in the exterior unit and cool down the temperature here we can set up this uh, variable arm let's say or this plastic directional air directional plastic with vertical you can set it up stopping at some let's see and now it's stopped uh, you can control the fan speed and uh, I got to tell you if um, 
you don't force you don't force this air conditioner it will consume it will amaze you how less power it will consume going with uh, difference from uh, the outside temperature and the inside temperature for example if you have 27 degrees 28 on the outside don't go more than 5 degrees in minus with your air conditioner and the air conditioner it will consume less energy you will see a few hundred watts of power consumption with this 8 volt uh, digital inverter a plus plus class so now guys um, for example i want to consume even less and um, you can select single user the single user okay it's activated now you will do some um, arrows if you saw there and uh, it will automatically set up the digital inverter to consume as less as possible if you see the ambiental noise now the fan is at minimum i think um yes it's uh it's a low speed and it, in this low speed I cannot hear the air conditioner. I can sleep with uh, with uh, this unit not bothering me at all. So I uh, stopped the airflow direction in uh, direction down, not bothering me being uh, the wind in front of my face. For example, it gets on the floor. The wind gets on the floor. Uh, it cools down just a little bit. I don't know. It consumes less energy. So now guys, for example, we want to heat up our home and uh, to do this, it's very simple, you got to select from cool to heat and it um, immediately check the command and begin heating. For example, I want to heat up to 26 degrees. Um, another thing I want to show you is that you see this small LED there. There is the Wi-Fi symbol. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. That is the Wi-Fi symbol that it's connected to my phone. So we can heat up, we can ventilate. Ventilating only the room and not cooling down. For example, if you have a rainy day and um, you want to dry, you can dry from the application. And here is now the dry, uh, for example, there is a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and uh, you want to dry it up, you can dry with this option. You can use the um, filter, it has that uh, virus filter. Another feature is the good sleep, with good sleep it has, uh, it will adjust the temperature of good sleep according to your hours, 7 hours, uh, how long you, you, you will sleep, you can save this. You can put a good slip on and it will uh, automatically adjust the temperature, the fan speed, I don't know what kinds of uh, technology making your uh, night sleep making it easier and comfortable. Uh, you have a lot of uh, functions you can put the, to the quiet mode for example and uh, I don't know it's a color, color of the wind. I don't know, it has modes for the wind, it's incredible. And uh, two step, well in the options, the, this two step is for switching one, it's fast cooling down and there is for maintaining that temperature. The second option, the fast option, is for fast cooling down without uh, energy efficiency and uh, the comfort, I don't know, it, it's something... Uh, it will cool down easily and uh, maintaining a nice, a decent uh, power consumption. Uh, but the best is the single user from the smartphone. Sorry, in the remote control, in the remote control, you have some options, and uh, you can control it by the remote control. It doesn't necessarily uh, mean you got to use uh, the smartphone. You can use the remote control too. I don't know yet what is this D light cool. But uh, I will find out. It has one function, this D-Lite. I didn't found it in the smartphone, for example. And you can also make yourself all kinds of presets. To my wind, 
I don't know, cool the temperature, the fan speed, you can make your presets. And what I like, it's at the filter, uh, it will tell you to clean after 500 hours filter cleaning reminder settings. And yes, it has an auto clean by itself, but don't uh, trust this function, do a cleaning. Uh, you got to take out the filter on the top side and you got to wash it. Don't use this function after one year, for example, because yearly you got to uh, wash that uh, filter and uh, to prevent the bacteria gathering there. All the dust have to come off and uh, you got to clean with detergent uh, and the Samsung says this is best and we um, advise you to do this every year another energy monitor this energy monitor it's great because it uses a measurement of kilowatts per hour so um, man i don't know what's the deal it didn't measure me nothing but but if i will try in the remote control to go and in the usage yeah for example usage set it will tell me 0 0.1 uh, kilowatts each use so it's a uh, hundred watts use already today from this air conditioner but i don't know why it, why it didn't uh, show me here on the smartphone it's some kind of power. so it's a good way to know how it consumes uh, the energy in uh, in amount i hope uh, samsung will make uh, for this problem a short update of the application and um, i don't know we'll fix this problem because we are interested in this uh, statistics you can use the cleaning once in a while you can uh, turn off the beep or from the remote control i see you can turn off this display if it bothers you for example in the night um, i recommend you to keep the display because it informs you about uh, the temperature all the time as a con they are only pros for this air conditioner a good uh, decibels uh, noise ratio um, but if you see these directional winds are i think manual <laughs> um, i don't understand why are manual but for 700 euros as much as this air conditioner cost with mounting included um samsung had to make a directional left or right for the directional winds so this is the only con i have only pros for this air conditioner it has a good um, power consumption uh, this triangular shape a good looking shape it has um, all kinds of technology for virus for uh, keeping and maintaining over the time not breaking and going to the service center you know this is why you give the big box because in time you will sell and uh, in time you will see the samsung is a good brand i hope will make uh, that bug in the application and everything is fine it's a great air conditioner so if you like this video guys please encourage us a thumbs up for this video and have a great day guys see you bye